Okay. This looks like the place. Here you go. Um, would you excuse me? I just want to talk to Alan for a minute. Sure, no problem. Look at that, huh? Instant business meeting just at Alan. I'll just be a minute, I promise. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, Gia. Family outing? A celebration. Mm -hmm. It's Mara and Sam's graduation. A few happy hours is one big happy family unit, you know, for the kids' sake. Well, that's a lofty goal. Yeah, that's a good choice of words. Um, that's why I came over here. Am I a lofty goal? Oh, well, we have one in common, making money. Mm. I just wanted to reassure you that the San Cristobal project will go ahead as planned, despite Richard's death. Still, hard to believe he's gone. Yeah, it was a shock to everyone. It was terrible. But considering how much Richard loves San Cristobal and what this project would do for the economy down there, I think he would be very happy to know it has a good chance of going forward. Oh, it's definitely going forward, Alan. Well, then perhaps Edwin would allow us to erect a statue in Richard's honor on the waterfront. But then again, maybe we wouldn't have to ask Edwin. <laughs> Is this um, a bad time for anyone besides me? What are you doing here when your husband is all the way over there? I don't have business with my husband at the moment. Well, gee, it would be nice if you could find some. Okay, we'll see what I can do. Good luck. Love you. So, Claire, how did it go before the grand jury this morning? Oh, so nice of you to ask, Alan. Actually, it was an utter fiasco. How's your day going so far? Would you take a deep breath and calm down? What, are you the doctor now? Breathe, breathe. Now, is that better? So, how bad was it? They crucified me. No, I'm... <laughs> Actually, they... It's like they handed me the hammer and the nails and let me do it myself. Mm. How do you mean? I mean, I had this neat simple story for Madam Prosecutor, and she ripped it to pieces. And she sympathized with me and made me feel so understood. And then, everything I know about Danny and Mother Carmen came spilling out. Everything about that sordid Santos family. I couldn't have done worse damage if I tried. U.S. attorneys don't come any sharper than Doris Wolfe. I spilled my guts out to her, Alan. That was not the plan. Claire, whenever we need to be protected, our only option is to do whatever works. It's over. Well, at least there's that. No, oh, I mean whatever little microscopic connection I had with, with Michelle. It's, it's over. I killed it. You know what this woman, this prosecutor, said to me just as I was ready to get up out of that chair? She said, thank you, Dr. Ramsey, for your cooperation. Mm. I'm sure she meant it. The point is, Alan, I set myself up. I accepted that deal. I walked into that hearing room on my own volition. I dug my own grave. Claire, do not do this to yourself. Well, you know, I wish I had that as I had advice before it all this happened, because then maybe I just should have just shut up and gone to jail. That would have been good for no one. At least Michelle might be speaking to me. Even if we were in adjoining cells. Oh, look at all these nice people enjoying their lovely little lunches and their lovely little lives. They have no idea how easy they have it. Claire, you're a stunning-looking woman, and self-pity does not look good on you. I'll bear that in mind next time I have to go before the grand jury. You did the right thing. Right. I'm, I'm not facing jail time. I'm only facing exile. 
Michelle will come around in time. Trust me. Oh, you know how long I've been saying that? Michelle will come around. I have been saying that since the moment I stepped foot in Springfield, Alan. But she won't come around. She will not. I'm telling you. She has chosen Danny Santos and his world. That's why there's this is a huge gulf between us. Would this gulf be closer if uh, she, she were with a car dealer, an insurance salesman? Yes. Michelle and I, we've had transcendent moments lately. Alan, when, when she gave birth to Robbie, would I help Danny with his gunshot wounds? I, I mean, she looked at me with such gratitude, such respect. Alan, she... she loved me. Claire, you cannot live for your child's gratitude or even her love. Well, what's left? I mean, if you want more money or more prestige? You know, when it comes right down to it, I am just a mother who is trying to protect her child. That's all. Hmm. And that's how Doris Wolf got you to open up. She treated you like a loving, well-intentioned mother. Low blow. So what am I supposed to do? Just pretend that Danny Santos isn't fatal to her health? I will not do that. No. I won't. You have to choose your moves very carefully. Be calm, smart, and measure each action. Like a real businesswoman, huh? Trust me, Michelle, is not a lost cause. There are ways to make things right with your children. You and Philip on speaking terms this week? Sorry, Alan. It might work for you and your son, but it does not work for me and Michelle. Alan. You are the only person I can count on. Okay, rendezvous with the Lewis Spencer family module is now complete. Oh. <laughs> you begin docking. Um, Hi there, how are you? I'm fine, actually. I'm docked. Is Olivia here? Uh, already docked. What's up? Hey there. Well, uh, graduation and the rest of my life. Same old thing. Ready to do some flying? When we have something to fly. Oh, we will, we will, okay. I promise. Okay, you probably all noticed that I've had sparkling cider brought to the table. Somebody asked me why. Um, because you like to boss the waiters around yet. <laughs> Wrong. You know me very well, but that is not correct. It's because I would like to propose a toast to our high school graduates. So everybody grab a glass, please. Right. Have one for you there. Thank there you. Go. you. Sam and Mara, when I look at the two of you, I see two intelligent, wonderful, funny, <laughs> attractive, <laughs> sensitive, just all around good young adults. I do. Okay, who is he talking about? Hey, I have no idea. <laughs> Come on, you guys, serious. Well, it's not serious, but it's important because this this is a milestone for both of you. So, um, to Mara and to Sam, as they say goodbye to their childhood and enter a wider world. Fasten your seatbelts. Yeah. <laughs>